We're going to do some more coordinate geometry together, equations of lines, gradients, and finding coordinates. Um, we're going to do this past paper question, uh, so as you know, all the credit goes to Cambridge, and you check my website, explainingmaths.com, for all my other free resources. So what's going on? It says point A has coordinates minus 1, 6, and point B has coordinates uh, 7, 2. So before we start, let's, let's just plot that very quickly, uh, make a sketch. So you have a rough idea what is going on. Minus 1, 6, uh, so let's say that's over there. A minus 1, 6, and point B is 7, 2. So roughly like this, point B. This is just for yourself that you have a rough idea of the situation. There we go. A, B. Line segment from A to B. Okay, um, the question now. Find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of A, B. Giving your answer in the form of the gradient intercept form. Okay, the perpendicular bisector. What does that mean? Perpendicular 90 degrees and bisector dividing it into two equal pieces. And so roughly uh, we're talking about this line. Yeah? So dividing AB into two equal pieces and with a 90 degree angle. And we have to find the equation. Okay, so indeed they already tell me in general y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient and c the y intercept. Now let's find the gradient first because we realize that perpendicular lines, the gradient, um, are each other's reciprocal of opposite sign. Okay, so if I can find the gradient of the line AB, so let's write that down. I'll uh, we'll do that in red. I'll do that here. Gradient of AB. And that is the difference in the y direction over the difference in the x direction. And the difference in the y direction, um, 6 minus 2 over difference in the x direction, minus 1 and minus 7. Okay, so y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. And that is, uh, let me see, 4 over minus 8, so that's minus a half, negative half. Okay, and although this is only a sketch, I see indeed that it is going down the line. You see that? So that is nice, a negative gradient. Everything makes sense. Good, that's of the line AB, so the gradient of that perpendicular bisector is going to be the reciprocal, so 2 over 1, and the opposite sign, yeah? so not negative 2 over 1, no, 2 over 1. So if I continue here, y equals 2x plus uh, c, I should say, and yeah? that is the equation of the perpendicular bisector so far. Now how can we find c? Either we should be able to see the y-intercept, which we can't, or we plug in a point. Yeah? And then we evaluate it for one particular coordinate, and we find C. But they don't give us a coordinate. However, the bisector will go exactly through the middle of the line segment AB. So I have to find the midpoint. Find the midpoint of AB and the x-coordinates first. So you add the x-coordinates, minus 1, plus... 7 and you divide it by 2 uh, to sit in the middle. So that is 6 divided by 2, uh, which is 3. And the y midpoint add the two y coordinates together. 6 plus 2, you sit in the middle, so you divide it by 2, so 4. So that midpoint is 3, 4. And please realize that for four points, you get points as you go on. Yeah, so this will give me a point as well. Um, so don't worry too much. You do not need to know the final answer before you start. Yeah? Step by step, we're getting to the answer. We have a point now, 3, 4. Let's plug it in to find C. So Y is 4 when X is 3. So um, that's going to be 6, 4 minus 6 minus 2. C is minus 2. So that equation, I'm going to write it down straight away, of the perpendicular bisector, 2X minus uh, 4 minus 6 minus 2. There we go. Great. That is the answer to that first question. Now what I would like to say before we move on, um, that negative two for the y-intercept. If I look at my sketch, um, yeah, that should have a positive y-intercept, but this is only a sketch, okay? So do not worry too much about that. The maths all is good, so a negative y-intercept, so actually that line will be going, uh, crossing the y-axis somewhere over there. Okay, let's move on, ii. A point C on the perpendicular bisector has coordinates P, Q. Yeah, so there's a particular point on this uh, bisector with the coordinates P, Q. The distance O, C is two units where O is the origin. So from the origin to that particular point is two units. 
Write down two equations involving P and Q, and hence, yeah, so using those two equations, find the coordinates of the possible positions of C. So positions meaning more than one. Okay, so let's find two equations first. Um, well, we're talking about this line, the perpendicular bisector, and when X is P, Y is Q. So the first equation you can make is quite straightforward using the equation so um, I'll try to do it all in red. I try to squeeze it all in. It's not easy. It's not a lot of space I have. Um, so when x is p, y is q. So, so q equals 2x, so 2p minus 2. So that's the first equation you can create. The other equation, um, they say the distance OC, so from the origin to that particular point, is 2 units. Um, so that could be from here in that direction two units but it could also be in the other direction and that's why we're going to get two or, or yeah more than just one possible position of C and of course that's the information we have to use but they do not give that uh, for nothing and you have learned um, to calculate the length of a line segment uh, using Pythagoras theorem then we say well the distance is the square roots of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. I'm not going to prove that to you now because, ba well, uh, basically you create right angle triangles and then you use Pythagoras theorem to calculate the length of the hypotenuse. You can check my website explaining maths.com where I explain that in more detail. I just assume now that you are, are aware what I'm talking about. What are the x coordinates? Well, one x coordinate is p and the other x coordinate is the origin, so that is 0 squared. And for the y, it is q, and the origin, the y coordinate, is also 0 squared. So what is that going to give me? The distance, by the way, is 2. So the other equation is 2. I'll continue here. 2 equals the square root of p squared. Uh, plus q squared and if I get rid of that square root sign I get 4 equals p squared plus q squared fantastic so I have two equations that was the first one and this is the second one and I have two unknowns p and q so with two equations I am able to solve it so what am I going to do now I'm going to substitute this value into this equation yeah, q equals 2p minus 2 I'm going to squeeze it in over here so 4 equals p squared plus q squared, but instead of q, I'm going to say 2p minus 2 squared. Okay, now we're going to solve it for p. 4 equals p squared. We're going to expand that, so that is going to be plus 4p squared uh, minus 4p minus 4, so it's minus 8p plus 4. There we go. Uh, rearranging. They will cancel out, then I have 5p squared, 5p squared minus 8p, and if I factorize that, p, uh, I get 5p minus 8 it has to equal 0. So the zero product property tells me then that p is either 0 or 5p minus 8 is 0. So because I don't have any space, I'm going to do that in one go, 8 over 5. Okay, so I've just said p is 0 or 5p minus 8 is 0, so 5p is 8, p is 8 over 5. There we go. Um, those are the x-coordinates, eh? as we said, p is the x-coordinate, so we still have to find the corresponding y-coordinates. But it's nice to see that we have two possible values, as we also already um, understood from the question, it should be more than one. Well, when p is 0, uh, let's take this equation to find q, 2 times p, so 2 times 0, is 0, minus 2 is minus 2. So the coordinate for that possible outcome is 0 and minus 2. And for the other one, x is, uh, so p is 8 over 5. Plug it into here, 2 times 8 over 5, uh, 16 over 5, minus 2. So 16 over 5 minus 2, what is that? 16 over 5 minus 10 over 5, uh, 6 over 5. You can use a calculator if you have to, 6 over 5. There we go the two possible positions of point C. Now, if this was useful, then please like and share. And you can check my website, explainingmouse.com, for all the other free resources for you to understand maps a bit better. And I wish you a very pleasant day. Bye-bye.